Hi guys. While I've got my grandson staying with us, I'm going to prepare a car for him to put together. Uh, I should probably either make it rubber band powered or maybe even a rubber band powered fan driven car. Because I've got plenty of bits. But as you can see, my workroom is getting a little bit full up at the moment because it's the only spare room in the house so everything's getting shoved in here. So we'll see what we can do. I'm going to have to try and clear off my workbench again and I shall use that milk bottle to actually make the car. I shall probably use that fan blade as well and I'll put the car together and then take it apart again so that when he comes home from school he can actually make it. We'll keep this very simple. I'll just melt some holes through for the barbecue skewer axles to go through. I'll use the fan blade. I'll melt a hole in the middle of the bottle top so that the fan blade or the shaft from the fan can go through there. So that can go back on the front. Put a couple of holes at the back there for the rubber bands to go through. So they'll go right through the body and hook onto the propeller at the front. And we'll have a couple of axles going through there and there. I've got some CDs or DVDs here. I'll put some bottle tops on them for the hubs already. So all he's got to do is put the axles through the wheels, through the bottle, and thread the rubber band through, connect it up, and we should be able to wind it up and it should go shooting along in the kitchen. I'll see if I've got any stickers that we can put on it as well to make it look pretty. I'll just draw some lines round to make sure we get the axles at the same height all the way round. use the seams in the bottle so that we get the axles parallel. do. Always remember to clean your soldering iron off if you've been using it for that sort of thing. I'll use a wet tissue. For the fan assembly, it's one I've used before. That's a bit of bicycle spoke. Got a couple of beads, just a bit of plastic to pack it out a little bit because the hole in the middle of there is a bit too big. There go. That hooks in there nicely. So that's all ready. Now I'll put some bottle tops on here for the hubs. Right, got some bottle tops, got some DVDs. Depending on how strong your barbecue skewers are and how soft the bottle tops are, you might be able to push them straight through. But I'll use my metal spike. Make sure you don't stick it through your fingers on the other side. And try to make it as straight as possible so the wheels run reasonably straight. Yeah, they look okay. We 
need to push a rubber band right the way through and I'm going to use a bent paper clip to hold it in place on the back. So I've got another barbecue skewer here with a hook on the end of it, just a bent piece of paper clip and some tape. So I can push that through from the front to get hold of the rubber band and I can pull it all the way through then. So that will hold it at that end. And at the other end, just hooks onto my propeller. Make sure we wind it up the right way. A lot of sticky back plastic here, so he should, should be able to cut out some shapes and stick them onto the car. Quick test run before he comes home, then I'll take it apart again. should do the job. Just a quick change. After the first test run I realised that the propeller was much too loose. It was flopping around once the rubber band had gone loose and it was actually getting caught under the front of the car. So I've added a plastic tube on the inside, just hot glued it in place and I've also hot glued the first bead to the top of the bottle top. So that holds the propeller assembly in a rigid position so it doesn't flop around so much. That should also help to spread the load on the bottle top so it doesn't actually get pulled all the way through if my grandson winds up the rubber band too tight. Unfortunately I got home too late tonight for him to actually assemble it so we'll have to have a go tomorrow.